much. Uh, we are live in the Audio Tree Studio with Lydia Loveless today. It's Friday, July 8th. How are you guys doing? Awesome. Uh, before releasing your 2014 album, Somewhere Else, I read that you scrapped an entire album's worth of songs. Yeah. Like, like just a complete <laughs> full album. I kind of had a nervous breakdown. That's what I like to do. It's like my hobby is nervous breakdowns. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, was, I like rented this art space and... Uh, I was sitting in there like every day by myself, like this is what songwriters do. They sit in a room and write songs. And I was like, this is all crap. And it was like, once I got rid of all what I perceived to be crap. Um, and if my, my iTunes tells me anything, it still is crap. Um, once so I got rid of that, I could actually write. You've, good you songs. have all of the scrap songs. I have demos still. of it and it's bad. <laughs> well, um, is it, or is it something you can maybe work into no, later? No, I think, um, like, I'm afraid that I'll die before I can get rid of it, and people will be like, oh, this was the unfinished record Lilia wanted to release. Like, no. You're like, absolutely not. <laughs> well, um, I also read that you kind of, like, changed it because you, uh, and maybe it's from sitting in the room being like, oh, this is what a song I are supposed to do, but uh, you changed it into a more of, like, way more personal album. Yeah, um, it did. Uh, it became a lot more personal. Um, I don't, I mean, it's hard to say what I was going for originally. Um did you lose, like, a sense of fear that you maybe had? Yeah. I, it must have been some sort of blockage of, you know, not wanting to say certain things. But, yeah, I mean, all songwriting should be personal in some way. It um, doesn't have to be narcissistic or navel-gazing, but, yeah, it should definitely be personal. Totally. So uh, you think the change just happened from evolving as a person the way yeah. everyone um, does? I don't think a lot, I, th I think I was like, what, 22 when I was writing, and not a lot of good stuff happens. Then There's a huge my period of growth, I think, that <laughs> happens between 20 and 25, It's not a very interesting instance. time, so yeah, you have to dig deep. <laughs> right, well, uh, I think it's awesome. Um, you've you. also said that your songs, like, come from your diary, uh, mm -hmm. and then you kind of, like, relish them out there, and have, have anyone ever found out if, like, songs were about them? I think my favorite thing is when a guy or anyone really is like, oh, I like that you wrote that song about me, and I'm like, you're so wrong. <laughs> it's not about you at all. <laughs> like, I'll think I really nailed some social issue, and a dude's just like, I'm sorry that I hurt you. <laughs> That's not like, oh, thanks, dude. Um, like, missing the point but, entirely. Um, I mean, if someone finds out more power to them for being able to discern anything, I guess, but most people can't. <laughs> So it's cool. All right. Well, then, yeah, maybe there's still a layer of protection. That that. <laughs> Men would have to be able to see beyond themselves to really peel that layer away, I think. Sure. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys want to go into your next Man, song. Man, I'm fired up today. <laughs> Let's play a song. <laughs>
Thanks so much. Uh, there's a documentary called Who is Lydia Loveless that was released uh, just a couple months back in April, right? Yeah. Cool. Uh, and it chronicles just like the making of your soon-to-be-released record mm -hmm. in August, Real. Uh, and just like on the road adventures, I think he follows you on tour for like a week. Yeah. All of you. How was that being filmed? Was it constant or was it just like sometimes you'd be like, not today, man. Oh, there was none of that. How do you guys feel about it? Someone else answer that. <laughs> There's no not today, man. Yeah, I don't think so. It, but, was, it got very real world. We we're like, you know, just need to talk about how I feel. No, um. <laughs> I think sometimes we just forget there were cameras there. Right, because you get so time, used yeah. to it. They just wore us down. Okay. Yeah. We, we, we just kind of forgot that they were doing that. And there's interviews and things like that, or is it yeah, mostly just like. There's lots of interviews. Um, Jay talks so much in the movie, it's incredible. It's kind of ridiculous. Oh, really? It, most, it actually turned into, like, who is Jay Gasper? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, d so, like, did you... <laughs> he did Sorry. give us all cameras and tell us to go out and film everything. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. And none of that made it into the... <laughs> like, absolutely none of it. Well, we I think are horrible like, people, mm. and we managed to document that pretty accurately. So, <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, like, is there any situation where you're just like, I really don't want this on there, and then, like, were you just kind of like, meh, whatever. Like, I that's mean, me. I guess if there was a moment like that, I would never tell you right, right. about it now. So <laughs> I might have had some moments where I was like, please, just, yeah. Like, one time I was in the shower, and they, like, came in, and they were <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> No, it really was not uncomfortable that we barely even noticed they were there for the most part, I would say. Um, particularly in the studio, it was actually really easy. Um, kind of like they this. kept out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, that sounds fun then. Turned out well and everything? Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, if you guys want to go into your next song, go ahead. <laughs>
Audio Drew Live with Lydia Lovelace. Uh, they're playing tomorrow at Chicago Square Roots Festival up in Lincoln Square. And their tour begins September 8th, kicking off in Columbus, Ohio, their hometown, and uh, ends October 22nd in Atlanta. And the new album, Real, comes out August 19th via Bloodshot Records. And if you guys want to go ahead into your final song. Sure. Thanks. <laughs> People tell me I could be addicted to romance Never getting over the excitement of a glance in your eyes Every other time I'd like to think I'm right Hope that I affected you and tore you up inside That must be why you turn away and never ask me why I cry Never sleep at night Need you on my side, but not tonight. All at once, you say it was fun, but it must not be real because now you're done. But so. All it was Love turns into lust And milk turns into clumps So you don't have to tell me Anything I want to hear It only makes it harder for me Every time I dare to say Baby Everybody dies I see you on the other side Oh my God You made me feel alive much thank you <laughs> uh well thank you guys for having us or uh being in the studio with us today we're super happy to have you, thank you. Uh, yeah uh thanks to the crew and everyone and all of our viewers this is audio tree live with lydia loveless thanks <laughs>